Hi, I'm Sam Stevens. I'm the Great Bull Wildlife Biologist uh, in charge of management of the Devil's Canyon Bighorn Sheep Herd. Today we're out here on the rim of Porcupine Creek Canyon and we're doing, um, this is a typical job for us, we do it just about every year where we come in and we try to maintain a, a pretty good sample. Um, we try to disease sample um, roughly 10% of the population. This is in accordance with state protocol which requires that we sample 10% of the herd before any transplant is done. The Devil's Canyon herd has been unique in that it's supplied the sheep for all the transplants in the state of Wyoming over the past 10 years. So a lot of those have gone to the Seminoles and the Ferrises in central Wyoming. Out of this herd in particular, we transplanted 120 sheep since 2014. And so this is to date still one of the cleanest herds and so this is why we use it as a source herd. Today we're five sheep in, we've got another 20 that we're trying to catch today. Um, a lot of the work that's being done today, both the disease surveillance and some of the collaring work that we're going to be doing is graciously funded by the Wyoming Wild Sheep Foundation um, in partnership with Wyoming Governor's Big Game License Coalition and several of our other wildlife organizations. Um, right now, we estimate that there's roughly between 200 and 250 sheep in the herd, so to sample 10%, we're going to aim for 25 today. Um, three years ago, we weren't so sure about the numbers in this herd, and so at the time, our request was sent out to the Wyoming Wild Sheep Foundation for funding to deploy 30 GPS collars on ewes and rams in this population to try to get a better sense of exactly what abundance looked like and what movement looked like within the herd. Because when we were going and doing our standardized uh, summer flights and our winter flights, we just weren't counting the sheep that we anticipated we should be finding. Um, what we found through collaring these sheep is that our detection was about 60%. In other words, you know, for, for all the 30 sheep, we were counting about, you know, roughly 18 to 20 of them, uh, of the collars, just doing our, our standardized annual flights. And so what that told us is that, despite even flying in a helicopter, we were still missing a significant amount of these sheep. And two years later, um, fast forward to today, now we realize that we actually have far more sheep in this herd than what we realized, than what we suspected at the time. And so today we're, we're in here and we're trying to um, prime ourselves for a potential transplant, which may or may not happen in the coming future, but transplant, translocation has always been utilized as a means to harvest ewes out of this population. Um, besides that, this is still a really popular um, hunting area, Area 12. We harvest six rams out of this herd every year. It's kind of become known, especially over the last decade, in the state of Wyoming as the trophy destination um, in the state of Wyoming where guys are killing great rams. Um, we've got really exceptional horn growth within the population and also exceptional genetics and a lot of that you can chalk up to just great habitat, great nutrition, and also good management. Making sure that we're ensuring we're not exceeding carrying capacity on the landscape, we're maintaining an adequate number of sheep within the herd unit and um, and so far this has been a success it's still a relatively clean herd and we're hoping to keep it that way and through partnership with Wyoming Wild Sheep Foundation and the Eastern Chapter this has all been possible for us and so we thank their contribution we thank your guys involvement and this is um, hopefully a success story that will continue into the future